Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the nursery reveal for baby number two. He is a boy due February 16th. I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant. Um, we just finished this nursery yesterday, so I'm so excited to show it to you guys. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I just love all the decorations and the theme that we kind of did was um, rustic, a little modern, um, kind of boho style, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of the same things we used from our other nursery with our almost two year old. Um, so if you guys are interested in that nursery reveal, I'll leave the link down below. Um, but it was kind of like the same color scheme, the grays, the neutrals, the blues. So I kind of wanted to pull that into this nursery as well, just so we can reuse some of the same things. But I just love the way this nursery turned out. It's one of my favorite rooms in the house. I just come up here and sit because I just love it so much. Um, and we can't wait for a little boy to be here and actually use this nursery. Um, so if you guys are interested in how I decorated this nursery, just keep watching. Okay, so when you first walk in, um, the main wall we have as um, like his crib and his name. We didn't do this with our other nursery. The main wall was back behind the door, which I didn't really like. I like being able to walk up the stairs and the first thing you see when you open the door is like this main wall. So that's what I wanted to do for this nursery. So um, starting off, I guess we'll just start here. I painted this nursery wall. Um, it's a Sherwin-Williams color. I cannot remember it off the top of my head, but I will um, add it here down below what color it is. I was going to do the peppercorn Sherwin-Williams, but when I saw it in the store, it just looked so dark, and I was really worried because we only have this one window right here, and I just and it was on the same wall that the color was going to be on, and I just was so afraid that it would be too dark. So I kind of went with the next shade up, I guess. It was a little lighter and I love this color. I love like the bluish gray tone that it gives off. So this tree right here is actually from Sam's Club. It was $50. I just like adding a little bit of green um, plants here or there. It just really warms up the space. And I really like this tree too because it came with this basket actually. So this whole thing you see right here was $50. If I can find it, I will leave all the links down below for everything that we have in this nursery. So just look for that list and you can see um, the links for everything. But that's the tree, the crib. This is the same crib we used for our two-year-old. Um, it's a Delta crib. I was really not wanting to buy a new one. So we transitioned him to a big boy bed early and um, that transition actually worked out really good. So we're just reusing the crib. I like that it's just plain and white. We can use it for all of our kids, whether it's a boy or a girl, so. And I like that it's kind of like this shiplap backing there. I'm a little rustic, so. I love the crib. Just a few pillows to decorate. Um, his sheet is Burt's Bees, and I love the plaid, and I love the Burt's Bees. We used it for Parker's Nursery, too. It's just so soft and cozy. This quilt is also a Burt's Bees. This was just extra from Parker's Nursery that I just wanted to reuse. We have a dock -a tot and um, the white cover underneath is pretty dirty from Parker and I can't get the stains out, so I found that if you just use a bassinet sheet, you can just put it right over on top um, and then he would just lay right here. Um, we wouldn't have him sleep in this obviously for long periods of time because it's not safe sleep, but it is just something I can like lay him in while he's small. I know he won't roll around or, um, you know, so that is another option. If you are needing a new cover for your dock -a you don't need to go out and buy the ones that they sell because they're so, so expensive. Just buy a bassinet sheet or even a, um, the Burt's Bees changing cover pads work too because that's what I was going to use until I found the, the bassinet sheet, so little tip there um so the mobile i just found from at home i don't i won't be able to link this i don't know the brand or anything um i just thought it was cute i liked the wood and all the little tan animals just neutral match the theme of his room and then his sign so obviously we're going to be naming him kaden uh, and i made the sign myself we already had the frame it was I think I got from Sam's Club and it said home on it, um, but I just painted over the home part. 
with multiple coats of white paint and then I um, just traced these letters um, using a projector screen and then used a paint marker and um, just went in and filled it in. So this was a much cheaper option than buying something on Etsy, which is what I was going to do, but this works out just fine. Um, all right, so the ceiling, this is his lamp, or his ceiling light, I guess. I got this from Amazon, which I'll link. I really like it. It's just one light bulb, um, but his room's kind of small, so it works just fine. They have an option. You can do two light bulbs if you want, but we just have the one, and it was really cheap, and it works for us, so... Um, you can kind of see it's it's like a rustic wood with some black wrought iron. Um, sorry if I'm out of breath. 35 weeks pregnant and I'm like huffing and puffing every single time I talk. So I apologize. So this is the wall that the door opens to right here. Um, I just have this cube organizer. This is from Target. We had in Parker's Nursery. Um, nothing special. I just wanted to use it for these bins just to keep some extra storage space. So these bins are from Amazon. It was a six pack and I like that it had this metal ring around. It just makes it look a little, a little nicer. So in these bins, um, this first one right here, I have his shoes and booties, his socks and his mittens. This one, I just kind of had miscellaneous things, his outlet, sound machine, just, you know, just a couple randoms. And this one right here, I have extra sh um, crib sheets and bassinet sheets. And then down here, I have some extra swaddle blankets. This one, I have his burp cloths and um, like teething bibs. And this last one, I have all of his swaddles. Um, I have so many. We used them religiously with Parker, so we have some of all different sizes. So these ones are the bigger size that he won't fit into right away, so that's why I have them kind of packed away on this side. And then this sign right here, welcome to my crib. This is from Hobby Lobby. It was half off. I think it was $30 half off, um, and it just kind of ties the room all together. And then moving on this side of the wall. Um, I have this bookshelf. This bookshelf's from Kirkland's. I got this on sale as well. Um, you had to order it online and have it shipped to the store. They don't sell it in store, I believe, but it's kind of like this industrial rustic piping. And I just, I liked it because it's something that we could use now in his nursery and something we can definitely be using in the future for, you know, once he's a little older too. So that's why I went with this bookshelf, and it's really small and narrow, which I like too. It doesn't take up a lot of space in the room. So some of the decorations I have on here, this is just a sign from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. It's a teething necklace. Um, I just have this glass jar I think I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year that has his binkies and some teething toys um, and some of the binky clips. And then here, just some books, a little greenery decoration, and then a piggy bank. This little dude sign is from Hobby Lobby and as well as the sea. Those um, giraffe and elephant little decoration toys are from Hobby Lobby as well. That is his baby book. Um, it's a polka dot print shop baby book, which we used for Parker as well, and I love her baby books. They have everything that I've wanted in them. Um, it has this personalized name, and it just kind of, you can talk about, you know, the beginning of pregnancy, how, you know, our reaction, our family stuff. Um, and then I like that it has a space to write things and a space for pictures. And then, you know, it has all the major um, development things going on every month update and the weeks and then like I said you can write the stuff down here and put pictures over here so this is an awesome baby book highly recommend it if you are in need of a baby book because this one just has everything that you need um, this is his little name card I got from Etsy that I'm going to use for the hospital to take his picture in and then down here is just a little toy and some more baby books so, 
Um, I guess I can talk about this rug. This rug's from Rugs USA. I forget the size and the dimension and the name of this, so like I said, it'll be linked down below, but I loved the cream color and then I actually thought this was black, but it's more of like this dark, dark gray that matches the wall perfectly. So I was really excited about that. And I love the little fringe on the edges. Just kind of gives that boho feel, I guess. But this rug like really ties in the room. So I'm loving that. Over here, I just bought a basket from Home Goods. Um, just something, I like it because it was tall and narrow, didn't take up too much space, and we just have a bunch of like stuffed animals and baby toys in there. These curtains I got were just from Home Goods. The recliner is from Amazon. We use this for Parker's Nursery, and I just wanted to reuse it in this space. So that's another reason why I pulled in a bunch of grays for this room, just because this chair was gray, so I felt like, I couldn't do all tan. I, I needed something to match the, the gray chair, but I think it all ties in really nicely together. Okay, over here I have this um, rack from Amazon. Um, I see these in all sort of room tours, and I just love the way that it looks. It's just simple, it's cheap, but it's just, it looks really nice. I really like it. Um, and I just have a couple outfits hanging on here and a swaddle blanket. And then moving on to this wall is his dresser changing table area. So these animal pictures are from Hobby Lobby. This light is from Target. I think it's like the Opal brand. Um, it's a small lamp, but it, it fits perfect in this nursery. I didn't want something too big that would cover up the pictures. So it's the perfect size. I really like that lamp. We have our sound machine, the same sound machine we had for Parker. That way when we're using the camera on both rooms, it's the same sound and we're not getting two different noises coming from the cameras. Just this little changing station. I got this basket from the Target dollar spot. This is a Burt's Bees cover um, we used for Parker. And this is what I was talking about. We'll also fit a dock -a too if you are needing something cheap for a new cover. And then this dresser is Ikea. Um, I just stained and painted it and added my own hardware onto it. But they had a really good sale this summer. It was a super cheap dresser, so I couldn't pass it up. So I just kind of stained it and redid it myself. And then in these drawers, um, in this first drawer, I have all of his newborn size clothing. Um, Pretty much everything he'll wear the first month or so if he's anything like Parker. Parker was in newborn clothes for actually a lot longer than I thought so we didn't really have a lot of newborn at the time so I made sure we had a good bit of newborn for this baby just in case. Um, and then over here it's just his diapers, wipes, um, changing mats, just some extra things, minkies. Um, here, I just have a drawer of just some big, thick blankets. And then in this drawer, I have the zero to three month sleepers over here. And I think I talked about in Parker's nursery tour, um, but I like to roll things like this. Um, you can just see everything. You can fit more in this space when you do the rolling method versus just regular folding. Um, so you'll as you were, you know, you've already seen through my drawers, a lot of things are rolled like this just because I can fit more in the area. And it's just, it looks very nice and clean and organized. And then down here, um, his zero to three month pants and onesies. And then over here, I have some more swaddle blankets. These are his um, Velcro swaddles that will fit him now. So that's why I have them in this drawer right here. And then I'll swap them out for the bigger size as he gets bigger and needs them. And then I just have some hats and some accessories over on this side. Here's his diaper genie. Um, this we use for Parker, so I'm just gonna reuse it for this nursery. They have a lot bigger and better ones nowadays, I'm sure, but we're just gonna reuse what we already have because it works just fine. And then, in his closet, it's nothing super special, just kind of like a catch-all type of space. Um, I have like his jumper and just some toys and stuff over there that we'll get out when he's a little older. 
I have his hamper right here from Amazon, his Mamaru swing, and then his car seats back in the corner. Um, but I just have some more clothes right here hanging. Um, and then up top, and these large bins, one bin I have for toys, one bin I have for all nursing things. That has my pump and all the nursing accessories that I'll need. I found that I was scrambling all over the place with Parker for looking for things that I would need and it just didn't work out. So I figured if I just get a bin and put everything in there, it's really easy just to pull this bin down and then there's everything I need for pumping or breastfeeding. So, and then this one I think just has some extra blankets in it. So that is it for the nursery tour. I absolutely love this room. It's my favorite room in the house. I just think it's so nicely decorated and I just love all the neutral colors. Um, I'm so excited for him to be here. We're just a few short weeks away. Like I said, I will link everything down below if I can. Um, and if I don't, if I forget something, just message me and I will let you know where it is from. But hope you guys enjoyed this nursery. Stay tuned. I do have a lot of other videos planned for the upcoming weeks um, related to baby. So if you are interested in those kind of videos, just be on the lookout for them. Thanks, everybody.